What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Will, and we got ourselves a banger for y'all today. We're gonna be talking about the story, the incredible story of how I made it on ESPN. Now, I'm gonna tell y'all a little backstory, and I apologize about the music in the background. Yeah, a little gospel playing, but again, I'm gonna tell y'all a little backstory. So, growing up, I always wanted to be like a sports sports analyst, sports caster, you know, sports writer. Like back in like high school days, uh, I like when I was planning on going to college, I was going to study for sports management, sports med medicine, to try to get in the field of you know becoming like a sports analyst. You know, debating on Stephen A. Matz on the debates because I know what my potential is. I, I'm, I believe I'm really good at you know debating. Uh, NBA topics, not just NBA topics, just sports topics, you know what I'm saying? So to come up with different ways to, you know, get myself around and try to be be able to uh, become or have a big dream of being on ESPN. So I went to college uh, with the UNG and I just realized college wasn't for me. So um, I did drop out and I started to pursue my career on YouTube and started YouTube about two, three years ago. I only have like 288 subscribers, but I, I you know, I'm blessed to have that much subscribers, you know what I'm saying? Because, yeah, it's still struggling, you know, growing on YouTube, but I, I thought of other ways, you know, to grow. So, move, move forward to this year. Starting this year, I started an Instagram, a basketball page. And I started January 21st. And I started making a lot of, you know, crazy basketball videos, like shit shot videos, um, crazy highlight videos, you know, shouting out a lot of people from TikTok. And then I started to grow more and come up with more ideas on how to really fulfill, you know, my potential and like talk about basketball topics. So I did a lot of polls on, you know, IG story, um, and also started like my own NBA takes on IGTV. So I was blessed to, you know, get my following to 1.3 followers in two months. That's crazy. I thank y'all all for the support. Like I really appreciate all y'all. Like it, it's crazy to have that many, that many followers in literally two months. Let alone my main page, Will Trill. I, I've been having like 1.5 case uh, followers for years. And the fact that I got to grow this basketball page to like over a thousand followers in two months. Well, I got to a thousand followers in one month, but 1.3 followers, like K followers in two months. That's insane, y'all. I appreciate all the support. Now, let's get to the story of how I made it on ESPN with Stephen A. So, I did... You know, Stephen has has a lot of Q and A's on his Twitter page. Um, it's hard to really get selected, and he's been doing this for years. So I don't know where I, 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 you know, submitted my questions to him. He has, you know, for his Q and A that he does. He has a new talk show host called Stephen A's World. So I submitted my two questions about a week and a half ago, and it's unreal that I got selected. Now. He aired his show on Wednesday last week, and I got I was asleep. I woke up to my my homeboys around midnight, tell me, "Yo, yo, Will, yo, you on ESPN, bro?" I'm like, "Wait a minute, I I'm still asleep, like, bro, like, why y'all call me just late night? I'm I'm still asleep, bro." And they, uh, I'm I check YouTube. And I clicked on the video and I saw my face. And he was he was answering my questions. Not only did he answer my questions, I shocked him and impressed him with my questions. I had two questions. I asked uh who would you rather start a franchise with? Zion Lamello. The second one was who was the better player, AI or D Wade? And literally I impressed and shocked him. 
Not only that I press and shot them, not only I was featured on his show, not only it was on YouTube and TV, the whole comment section was talking about my questions. Dog, that's such a blessing, man. I, I literally it's it's just it's just a surreal moment. I still like, I dreamed about being on ESPN, you know what I'm saying? Like growing up, I didn't know what was what was the pathway to get there. Everybody said you gotta go to school, you gotta take these much classes. I chose my own way. So now that I told my story, you know, it's an inspiration story. Um it's a real moment. I don't want y'all to follow y'all dreams. I'm gonna tell y'all I want y'all to pursue your career. Don't let people tell you what you know, don't let nine to fives pursue your whole career. Don't no. And I still work at nine to five myself. I'm trying to get out of that. I'm trying to get out of nine to fives. I'm only there temporary. So I want y'all to not just not just, you know, pursue your dream pursue your dreams, but fulfill your potential. I believe in God that everybody has a gift. You just gotta go out there and find it. Cause it took me a long time to find my gift. I finally know what my gift is, and now I'm pursuing it. So I, I believe y'all need to go out there and pick a niche, find your potential, pursue your dreams, and never stop. Work, 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 work every day, no matter what. Because you know you don't know how what kind of opportunities is out there for you. You just need to find your potential, but find find what you're really passionate about. Because when you do that, everything else will follow. Money, fame, everything, you know, all of the opportunities will follow for you when you find potential and put the work into it. So I'm gonna tell y'all this. There's two there's two there's two types of people. There's one per that's one person that's has a lot of dreams, crazy dreams, but all they do is dream and not put the work in. There's another person that ha turns dreams into reality. Which person you wanna be? You wanna be the one that always dream, even when you go to bed, fantasizing about you, you know, your your future significant other, or your your what you really want to be, and become successful, and just keep dreaming, not putting work in, and just sit in the bed and do nothing. Or do you want to turn dream dream into reality, where you could constantly, constantly work every day to to fulfill your potential. Work every day. Just put the work in, and your dreams will turn return to reality. I'm just a normal person, just like y'all. I started literally. I, I dropped out of college, y'all. Like I didn't know what I was gonna do. I I chose what I really want to do. I just found other ways. I did a lot of research of what I really wanted to do. And now I'm finally in a position where I can really even keep going. Now I gotta go really hard. And I want y'all to do the same thing. I want y'all to go hard and pursue y'all dreams. Pursue your passion. Money will come. Fame, success will come. Just stay focused, work hard, and keep going. And believe in God that all your dreams will come true, okay? I appreciate y'all tuning in for this video. Like, this is it's still a surreal moment that I made on ESPN. But um, honestly, this is only the beginning. Then This means I got to work harder. I want y'all to do the same thing. If y'all enjoyed this video, please smash the like button. Please subscribe to my channel. I thank y'all for tuning in. Speak your boy well, and I'm out.